of like that 70s This is like an actual bathroom thing. So posh. All right, it is Wednesday at noon. I am just eating my breakfast. Yes, I eat breakfast a little bit later. I, I do have some work that I have to finish up and then I think I'm gonna take some photos for some new items that I wanna get on my Depop. And then I wanna redo my bathroom vanity because it's a mess. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and finish my work and see how the rest of this day goes. Yeah. I hope you had some yummy hot beverage this morning and you feel ready to tackle your day. This is the pile of stuff that I ended up listing today. I'm actually posting shoes for the first time on my Depop and I'm super excited about these two pairs of shoes. For size five, definitely be sure to check these out on my Depop at Daisy Vault. And then I have just a couple other springy kind of pieces, a sweater vest. That's super cute. Okay, so it's later in the day on Wednesday after work. I wrapped all that up. I wanna work on something that I've been putting off because I've been wanting to do it, but I also really wanted to film it to show you guys how I kind of do a project like this. But I need to clean up and reorganize my bathroom vanity. When we moved into this house, I was really excited that I had like a makeup vanity, but I have not been utilizing it very well. So what you're about to see is very real. It is a mess. It is a mess. It is a mess. So please don't judge me. I mean, whatever. I don't care. I'm showing you guys this because this is start to finish how it is currently today to how I'm going to kind of organize it. I'll give you a little bit of my thought process, but let me rip the bandaid off. Let me show you what's going on over here. All right. This is it. So I have this really cool vanity with, look at these lights, guys. Like, it's so fun getting ready in here, but I just could not figure this out. I started putting my makeup in this big drawer, but then my cords were getting caught on it every single time. My hair tools are kind of just shoved in the back corner because that's where the outlet is. So I was having trouble with that and I don't have anything currently for my makeup brushes, so everything was kind of just getting thrown. And then I started using this drawer for makeup, but these palettes are too big and they take up so much space that I can't use the drawer. So I was just like, ah, this is a struggle. This needs to be rethought out. And I think I came up with it. So I have a couple ideas of where we're gonna relocate the hair tools, how we're gonna make this drawer work for me, and how this is actually gonna become a functional makeup drawer because I still think this is the easiest to access at all times since this is where I sit. Also, if anyone's curious, that is my towel warmer and it is the best thing in my life. I love it. I highly recommend it. It makes getting out of the shower um, just so much nicer if you're a cold person. So yeah, anyway, I keep that under there and that's actually probably staying, but everything else has got to be cleaned up and then I will kind of show you where I'm putting things. And we're also gonna utilize this wall which just backs up against the shower. So that is, you know, underutilized space right now and everything's just flat on the counter. So I've got a lot of work to do here, but first let's do a little cleaning montage. <laughs>
Okay, it's clean and done. Just kidding, everything is right behind me. I just like to clear this space and then I'm gonna put everything back in. Well, hello there. So it is Friday. I did not do a lot on Thursday. I kind of just worked the whole day, did a lot of work stuff. So overall, you know, just not really anything I was thinking of including in this vlog. Um, but from the other day when I listed some new items on my Depop, I did have an item, a super cool one that actually sold. These Skechers vintage leather groovy boots is what I call them. They're like that 70s chunky heel. I was so excited when I found these at the thrift but they don't fit me. They don't like zip up around my ankle, hashtag cankles, but that's the life I live and I love my body. Once I kind of like had them sitting around for a bit, I was like, you know what? It's time for someone to be able to get the joy I wanted to get out of these. But now I gotta like package this up and ship it out. Okay, so first I snip off any extra thread, see where I can touch them up to make them look as nice as possible. Um, but again, I've just got them in here and I've never shipped shoes before. So usually I'm wrapping these in clothes um but i'm gonna like place i don't know do that okay and then i've just got actually green tissue paper again i've never wrapped shoes before so i'm gonna kind of just make it like that and i'm just gonna tape these up and they're ready to go all right we're back in the bathroom i want to hang um, my necklace holder and this acrylic shelf these are from amazon and they actually came with these massive adhesive stickers that you can use so i'm gonna try that for those and then for this it does show like obviously like i'm supposed to put screws through here but i really don't want to screw into this wall if i don't have to so i'm gonna try hanging them with command hooks which i I know a lot of people are going to be like, this is in your bathroom, it's going to get super humid, it's just not going to stick. We're going to see. We're going to try. 
And if it doesn't, okay. I place them on the wall. And what's really cool about these acrylic shelves and the adhesive they come with is they have these like screws. Well, we got our answer to one of those. That did not work. You can take off these screws and it recommends flattening out the adhesive to get all the air pockets out and then leaving it for 24 hours. So that's what I'm gonna do to try and make sure that these work as well as possible. And I guess I'm already gonna have to figure out a better solution for this. Okay, so it's about four o'clock on Friday. I am at somewhere I'm super excited to be right now. Salvation Army. Um, I just wanna check for a little like brush holder thing. That's the main goal. I don't have a ton of time right now, um, which is why I wanted to put this in this vlog because I'm really just looking for, like I said, something to hold my brushes, whether that be a glass, a jar, or something with individual compartments. I don't know. We're gonna see what we can find. Um, and then I just have to pick something up from Target and go home because I'm having a girls night with two of my friends who are in town and I'm super excited. All right, let's get going. Okay, I definitely got a little distracted, but I picked up this, which I think is too small. This one. I actually think I like that one the most. And this is like an actual bathroom thing, but I don't like it. It's kind of like, eh. I don't think I need like this little front part thing. And I really like this, but I just... I think it's too small for my brushes. I think this is gonna be more than enough space, but I'd rather have more space and I can fill it with stuff, so pretty good. I love it. Me too. Okay, so I think I got it hung this time and I absolutely love it. Look at how cute it looks. The squiggle design is definitely my style um, and I love how the rest of this is coming together so I'm gonna do like, I don't know, finishing touches here. Okay, and this little pink mini bathtub that I thrifted that I wasn't really sure what to do with at first, um, I have finally come up with an idea. It is going to hold my beauty blender, and I don't know why, I just think that's perfect and funny and, once again, very me. So, something I'll look at every day and kind of like smile, and hopefully it'll remind me to wash my beauty blender a little bit more often. <laughs> so posh. Okay, also I ended up using the adhesive sticker screw-on things that came with the acrylic shelf. All right, that's it for the little vanity redo. I'm so happy with how it came out. I feel like it was super easy to get ready and I don't know, this was like a, an apartment rental friendly uh, DIY, so definitely consider using these, especially in the bathroom area, if there's somewhere that you can't drill. All right, so I'm gonna go get ready for the rest of the day. Um, I gotta change, and we are gonna go to the bins and do some sourcing. And I don't think I said this, but it is Sunday morning, and the vibes are good. The coffee is flowing. <laughs> Okay, so I'm at the Goodwill Outlet store and I'm not gonna film inside this time, but I will give you guys a haul of what I found. Okay, so I wanted to show you a really good way to get fully centered before you go on a big thrift trip where you're sourcing, if you're a reseller, or if you're really just trying to find the right pieces. Now, I currently only sell on Depop, but I'm sure other reseller apps have something very similar to this, but you're going to want to go on the homepage and find something akin to an explore page. Depop calls theirs the Depop edit, and it's handpicked items, and they're usually very trendy and what people are looking to buy. So I like to poke around these pages, take a look at the brands, what they're listed for, and just the general vibe. This really helps when I'm looking to buy items for my store and not just for myself. It helps me break away from more of my own personal style and pieces I would gravitate to and remind me that these are the types of pieces I should be looking for. Lucky for me, cottagecore is a vibe that I love and that customers seem to be loving these days. So that's probably my main focus today. All right, so 
we are back at my house and I am done thrifting for the day and running my errands and I have to share some of the finds that I found today at the Goodwill bin. Let's start with the shoes because those I'm really excited about and at first these were both pairs of shoes that I could only find one of so I couldn't find the matching pair for either and I was super upset but I managed to find the matching pair for both of them. These, um, I don't know what these are. I don't know what they're from. They don't have a brand label on them, but I just think that they are very much something I would stock in like a boutique if I were to, you know, like I do, like my reseller boutique. You know, this is very much my style. I think that this fuzz is so cute and it's got the wooden clog. So I don't know, I really see someone cool rocking these shoes and I thought they were a great find at the bins and they are a size 8 so if you like them go ahead and check them out on my D price okay this pair is in my size and they are these little sweet you know little spring summer sandals with the floral detail so I'm gonna give them a little love clean them up a little bit maybe on here give this a little wash and touch up I'm really excited about these and wedges are totally coming back in this summer and this is a good height it's not too tall and narrow it's not too low like a little kitten heel it's kind of like the perfect in between so super excited to add these to my closet and maybe on my depop we'll see i don't know for clothing my one of my favorites that i found today was this nyc this little bedazzled tank top and i just think this is a very cute summer staple and then like i said i went off of the explore page on the depop so i really saw a lot of cottage core-esque things and that was what i was looking for and i managed to find this adorable eyelet lace uh let me see this adorable eyelet lace this is actually like i don't know that looks like an older airy tag i don't want to say it's vintage by any means but it's just like an older maybe from the 2000s um airy dress okay here's another good cottage core little tube top this is american eagle again not like a great brand necessarily for reselling but the style is there and it's in good condition so i saved it from going to the trash and i do think someone will buy it and my favorite one that i can't wait to try on i actually might have to try it on now are these pink cargo pants and what i love about them is all the cargo pants that i usually pick up at the thrift store are capris these just don't look good on me and the color is yes super obnoxious but we love it we love pink that was most of what i found today so i definitely have some good pieces to list on my depop and keep up consistency with listing every week oh wait Oh, I almost didn't show you the best find because this is the other thing I want to spend my day doing. I'm so excited. Okay, these I saw while I was in line and I looked at them from the back and I'm like, oh crap, I really, I know I'm going to need to look at those. And if they're my size, I'm going to buy them. I'm going to buy them. If they're my size and they're in good shape, I'm going to buy them because this is something I've eyed up full price. I have to say, I think at $25, these in my size, Someone maybe wore these once. These are Impala uh, roller skate. I love roller skating. I love going to the roller rink. And I have some concrete outside that I can definitely get my roller on. So I was really excited. And at $25, I looked it up real quick in line. A lot of them go for like 60. So even to get it for half the price, I was pretty happy. They were in absolutely great condition. And I really do love this colorway, like this blue and pink. It's classic. It's cute. I can definitely see myself making an outfit for these. But I kind of just want to like go out and roller skate maybe a little today after I finish up dinner. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll take you guys with me. We'll see. Okay, it is now the following Wednesday from when I started this vlog and I am listing some of the clothing that I got from my last bins trip from this video. And I'm just gonna wrap this up now because I have nothing else to add to this for now and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to hit that like and follow button if you did and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much, bye.